Welcome to Ev's Shed. You've seen me use this spit a couple of times now, so I thought I'd do a review. I'll go through how this spit's set up and all the different components. We've had this spit for about 10 years now and it was custom made by my father. Um, he's used spits all his life um, and from his experience, he's basically come up with design. It's stainless steel inside structure, stainless steel rod, and also the stainless steel fittings. This way, stainless steel doesn't rust, so when you put your heat beads or your charcoal in there and the heat, it actually doesn't rust. Uh, so let me go through the different components. So we've got the spit, which is where you put the heat beads on. You've got the rod. Um, it's basically on a stand, and this stand is made out of just box tubing. I'll go through the dimensions. So it's 25 mil box tubing, which is about an inch square tubing. Internal length is 1.5 meters. The base of it is 410 millimeters. Um, the sides come up 450 millimeters. The top of it from end to end is well, the internal di internal dimensions is 700 and then 770. It sits 670 millimeters off the ground. So on this side is the motor assembly and the rod. So the rod is 1750 millimeters long. So just enough for it to protrude out. There's a couple of different levels. So the top level sits about to center. So from the bottom is 400 mil high. The second level sits 300 mil high. There's a hundred mil difference. The reason being we've got different heights is that you initially put your meat up the top so it keeps it away from, from the heat so that to slowly cook. Near the end, when you want to get nice and brown, you drop it near the flame and then it gets nice and uh, crispy and, and brown. We've also got a, sec a second um, assembly on the side here and that's 250 mil away. So potentially we can run two sets. We can run a second um, spit on, on the end here and we usually put chickens and, um, and we put as you meat can see on here. it's on wheels so it's got a swivel wheel here so we can maneuver it around there's a, a set of wheels over there so it's easy to move around the other component of the spit is this tray so you can see there's a tray we've made up the reason we've got this is when you cut the meat, you don't want to cut it over open flame because it is hot. And also, when you stop it, all the juices fall down and then you've got smoke or, and fire building up. So we've made this piece that slots nicely over the coals. And then you can cut your meat and you put a tray underneath there, you cut your meat and it stops all the flame and all the smoke coming up. It also protects you from, from the heat as well. So as you, as you need to cut it along, you just move it along there. So this just sits slightly above 100 mil off the, uh, off the base. And it's a piece of stainless steel which has been bent. So the internal is 460 mil and the height is 200 mil. With this spit, we use it for a number of different purposes. We can put gyros on there, um, we can put a whole lamb, and we can also put chickens as well. So we can basically have a gyros here, a couple of chickens in there, and, and cook that up. I'll go into more detail about the fittings that we use onto the rod. These are stainless steel plates we've set up. We've um, cut a hole. So this, this pole, pole is 20 millimeters uh, in diameter and we've cut uh, holes in these plates so they're 200 mil square plates so as 
you've seen in my other videos when we put the um, wheel in there. We set up a plate, we lock it into place. Basically use these to lock it into place. And then we put the other plate on there and the meat is squashed in there. So we can put our gyros meat there and then we can have a couple of chickens in there. So other fittings we have, as you can see my videos when I do the lamb, is these will go into the lamb to actually stop the body from twisting once it's on um, it's on the uh, on the pole. So these are all stainless steel fittings and they've got threaded pieces there that basically lock into place. Got one over there and then one in there. But also we have this one which is a fitting that uh, holds the spine of the, um, the lamp together. I'll show you how it works. You can see in my videos. So that sits in there. You pass it through the spine, and then that just screws on. That screws on onto the back of, of, of the lamp, and it holds the whole thing together. All these components you can buy from a spit specialist. You can probably buy them online. They're all stainless steel. Now these ones here are for the legs of the lamb to actually hold it all together and stop them from flailing around. So you can see. That you set up the legs, set one up on this side, set one up on that side push the legs in there, you tie them up, and again, you've got a bolt, nut and bolt, which bolts it all together. Cotton cooking twine. So this is what you tie your meat up with. It won't burn, um, it actually keeps it together. It's like when you cook your roast in your oven, you use this to, to tie it together. Another thing you'll need is when you're sewing up the, the lamb, is you'll need a needle. So we've made up this needle, we've got a three inch nail, um, sharpened the tip and drilled a hole there. So we pass the twine through and use it to sew up the lamb. When it comes to the rod, we're using a nine inch diameter uh, pulley, which is 240 mil in diameter. So you get these from your specialist barbecue places. So the ratio between the pulley of the, um, the motor to the rod is a nine inch to a one inch. So that gives us our perfect speed to turn our uh, meat. The motor mount part is set up with a box tube with a nut and uh, screw assembly. The motor sits in here and you tighten it up. Depending how high you go, it actually allows the motor to move up and down and I'm using a 600 millimeter drive belt you can get those from your auto uh, uh, places it's just a vehicle drive belt put it on there close it up and it drives away these type of spits can be bought from spit specialists you can buy them online you can buy them from barbecue uh, places but this is what we've designed and used it for 10 years. Um, it's done the job. We've cooked multiple and multiple lambs, gyros on it, chickens, and it's all come out really great. One good feature about this, it's stainless steel. I highly recommend you get a stainless steel spit because it won't rust and it will last forever. I hope this has helped you. If you do like what you see, please push the like button down below and also subscribe. Thank you for watching F-Shed. Catch you later.